Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Tyler. Welcome to the channel. And today we're taking a look at Alaskan Truck Simulator. Now this is just the demo, but hopefully later this year it'll be coming out with the full release. So let's get started. Welcome to Alaskan Truck Simulator. We are very happy to finally be able to show you a demo of the game. Alright, let's skip through that. Travel preparation, you are hungry. Uh, take the reindeer meat from the fridge. Put the reindeer meat into the cooker. It's an odd name for a oven, but okay. And wow, it must be a very high-end cooker since it cooks so quickly. And it is ready to go. Oh, we just received three reindeer with Parmesan. I didn't know that we seasoned it already. Press I to open your inventory. Click and hold on the reindeer meat to eat it. Go to the table and grab all four items. You will need them later. Let's find this table. So we need car tools, nails, a hammer, and chains. Now exit your base and go to your truck to start the journey. Go to your truck and enter it. That's pretty cool with the bear and Alaskan scenery on the sides of it. Alright, let's go ahead and check this thing out. Start the engine. Release the handbrake. And you can highlight interactive elements with tab. Oh, there we go. There's quite a bit you can do there. Let's turn on the dash light so we can see. And now it wants us to open the map. All right. Oh, open the map and set it to the gas station. Alright, and that is a right click to set a marker on the map. Alright, and now we are on the road to the gas station. Whoa. We shouldn't drive through the fence. Let's see, can we change the camera angles? Oh yes we can. There is a third person view to help take in a lot of the scenery of the game here. Ah, winters are cold in Alaska. You'll lose health in low temperatures. Alright, let's go back inside here and turn on the heater. Alright.
quite like the scenery. This is something different for a truck simulator. I'm used to playing American Truck Simulator, Euro Truck Simulator, uh, Farming Simulator, and they all have great qualities to them, but this is definitely interesting to have one specific just for Alaska. The scenery and the graphics are pretty decent with this. Switch on back to the in cab view. And we're turning right here. Ah, oh, they do even have some traffic on the roads. sharp and hit the fence there. Let's fix that up. say just off the bat here the controls are a little touchy and we'll need a little bit of fine-tuning here but let's pull in and get some gas or I guess in this case some diesel for our truck so we can get on our trucking adventure let's pull on in here we want to make sure the lines are green I guess Put on our parking brake. Shut off the truck and let's get out. Use the buttons on the pump to set the fuel amount. So let's see, refuel at least 30 gallons. So I guess we set this to 30. And we just paid a hundred and one dollars for thirty gallons of diesel. And now we're off to the Cantwell store. Must be stocking up before we get on the road here. Alright guys, now that we got fueled up, let's head on over to the Cantwell store. And see what they have for us to buy. Let's check and make sure no traffic is coming. Looks like we're all good and in the clear to pull on out. Alright, now we can go to our interior view. try to fix the graphics here to get this flicker in the stop. Give me just a second. Alright guys, there we go. I seem to have found the right setting to turn down the graphics to fix the flickering issue there. I know that was bothering me. I'm sure some other people out there might be bothered by that. Hopefully they fix that in the re final release of the game. Oh, I guess we're turning here. I turned a little too soon. Let's get ourselves back up on the road here. And we're turning again. All right. 
right, and here we are pulling into the Cantwell store. Park the truck anywhere and go into the shop. Let's park it right here. Hey, you know what? Let's leave her running here. Let's get out and see what we can find to buy at the store. Buy three cans of food and two bottles of motor oil. One, two, three. One and two. All right, we're all prepared for the long travel here in Alaska. Let's go back to our truck here. All right, now we're going to follow our GPS to the quarry pickups to get our first assignment. So we have 104 miles until we get there. Scenery is pretty decent, even with turning down the graphics there to fix that flickering issue. And once we make the turn here, I will see you guys whenever we get to the quarry pickups. And I just made the turn and started heading down this road on the way to the quarry and it looks like our engine oil is low So let's stop the truck and let's turn it off And Add some oil to the engine Okay, that's enough oil there. Let's go ahead and hop back in. Now we can continue on our way to the quarry pickups. Alright guys, we're just about 10 miles away from the quarry pickup here. Figured I'd bring you along on the last little drive there. Alright, now it's telling us to drive up to the logistic location door. Let's finish driving up into this place here and find the logistics door. right up here and it looks like logistics is just up ahead oh, it's right here so let's stop and park the truck get out of the truck here all right looks like we are delivering sand to you build and there's our trailer right there so let's get in our truck and change our view here back on up and hook up the trailer. I'm curious to know if we have 
if it can be just like American Truck Simulator where we just have to get close or if we actually have to be spot on here looks like we have to be precise let's turn off the truck and see what we're doing here okay so we gotta lock the wants us to lock the pin but it doesn't look like we're in a position to do so let's see if we can correct ourselves here Ah, uh, yeah, we're not close. guys I got the truck all lined up here now we can get out and get our trailer hooked up here so first we're gonna lock the trailer on now it wants us to connect the cables so let's get our electric first followed by the airline or pneumatics in this case and we can get back down and now we can lift the trailer supports so that's pretty neat that we have to actually get out and hook up the trailer just as if we were a real truck driver so let's get back up and hit the road to you build in Paxson Fire up the truck here. And you know what? I just discovered we have wiper blades. So that might actually f keep the windows a little bit clean for us here. And we are off to you build in Paxson. A bunch of sand. out this windy road and to drop off this trailer of sand. I will see you guys when we are almost there. Alright, we just got down the road a short distance here and it looks like we're going to have to fix the bridge. Let's get out and see what's going on. Gotta grab the wood and patch up the holes on the bridge before we can pass across. And let's remove the barricades. We have to come around this side. And now 
we can get back on the road and pass through. Ah, it appears that we are also getting tired. So we might drive a little bit and see if we can get a little bit further until we have to actually take a rest on our trip. Alright guys, it looks like we are on our way here and the bridge is closed for trucks. So we need to pull off here and wait until we're able to cross the bridge. And it looks like we're going to take a nap even though I took a nap not too long ago. Flip around and I guess we go in the back here. And let's now ah, let's sleep for four hours. And now we can continue, but let's get our wipers on here. It looks like we've got a storm coming in. guys whenever we get closer or when the next event happens on our way. Alright guys, looks like we're driving along our way here and we might have to stop as the roads are getting slick and chain up so we can get through the storm here. Let's stop the truck and get out and put our chains on. We gotta stop the truck before we can get out. Open our inventory. Perhaps it's not time to do that yet. Let's keep on driving. see ah there we go now it's gonna have a stop and I do see we're probably gonna have to stop and add some oil soon to the truck it looks like it's getting low again so let's get out and chain up first and we'll take care of the oil while we're at it chained up. While we're at it, let's get some oil in this thing. Might as well finish with the oil that we got. see you guys in a little bit all right guys we are almost there we're about 12 miles away from our destination as you can tell it looks like we're still in a storm through the last bit of our trip here and we're going to be turning up here in just a little bit let's turn to this view so we can see our turn better Boy, I really like how it has the snow effect hitting the... Oh, didn't see the car there. As I was saying, I like the snow effect on the screen, so it actually does make it feel pretty realistic. And we're just a couple miles away here, and we'll see what we got to do to deliver the cargo to U-Build. And just like that, the storm is over, right as we're getting to our destination. Let's 
fling it on in here. Alright, to deliver the cargo, it looks like we can do one of three ways. We can do freestyle, parking forward and backwards. Let's do the freestyle parking, just since it's right here handy. And we'll stop, Let's turn off the truck. Put our trailer supports down here. the cables and we should be able to unhook our trailer here all right we are done now let's go to the office and finish the assignment let's walk over here to the office One thing that I did notice here is that they don't give you an option to walk faster or run. All right, let's go into the office here. Hopefully when they've fully released the game, unless I missed the button for running or sprinting, uh, they add that to the final release. But let's finish our job here. All right, job completed. We delivered sand to you build we got a total payment of two thousand four hundred and eight dollars and let's finish that congratulations you've completed the tutorial and the first assignment once again guys this is just the demo version of alaskan truck simulator i'm looking forward to when the game is released and we'll add some more content of that once that happens if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to stay tuned for more updates from me. Once again, my name is Tyler. We'll see you next time.